Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Ken Ackerman. We're at the University of Portland. You know, back during the early 1900s, refugees, immigrants came here mainly from Europe. Well, things have changed. It's become much more diverse. Please welcome Casey Jama, Executive Director of Center for Intercultural Organizing. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you for having Your me. Your story is an interesting one. You graduate from high school in Mogadishu, which is in Somalia. And once you graduate, what happens? Well, as any young man anywhere in the world, I had a passion. And my passion was make something out of my life. Um, so I had a dream. I want to go to college. I want to graduate. I want to have a family. That was my plan. And when the country fell apart and civil war happened in Mogadishu, the entire country literally one night just you know, literally exploded to a you know, full-scale civil war. So then the next option, I have two options. One, either you know, pick up a gun and be part of the problem or get out of the country. And so as a young man who had a much bigger uh, expectations in life, I decided to get out of the country and that journey really le led me many, many places. So, so that was a long journey. You finally get to San Diego, $20 in his pocket, $12 of which he spent on a meal in a Somalian restaurant. And then you started talking to the owner, asking for two things. What'd you ask for? Well, as someone who believes solutions always, I ask two things. I ask if you give me a place to sleep and give me three meals a day. I'll work for you. And, from, and she took it. And from there, see, this is a story. From there, you make it to Portland through a friend. You graduate from Merrill Hurst University, and you are making what your passion was, a life for yourself, for your family. Tell me about the Center for Intercultural Organizing. Well, Center for Intercultural Organizing is multi-ethnic, multi-racial organization uh, focusing the issues of immigrant and refugee rights, but more importantly, what we call social justice issues. Um, at the beginning, the way we started, we are kind of a byproduct of 9-11. You know, when 9-11 happened, um, as I, you know, driving one time, I was driving uh, quite a number of Somali women who was trying to uh, start their own association. And as I, I was helping them, I heard the background they were talking about um, uh, what happens to them at the, on the streets of Portland. Racial slurs. Uh, it's racial slurs, people throwing a garbage uh, and from the window and as they drive by. And really, it took me back because, you know, that's not the country I want to leave. So I bring them back together and I said, let's talk about it. And that's how um, we realized that there is a much, much deeper issues in, the, in our community. And so we need to address that. Now, what's interesting is that you represent 70 different countries, 30% uh, of the folks that are with you are U.S. born, but you don't only try to, to integrate them into our society, you try to go do the reverse as well. Uh, absolutely. Uh, integration, I mean, the Center for Intercultural Organizing, we believe what we call a model we call co-integration, which means is that you integrate immigrant and refugee community in the lives of the fabric of the society, but also at the meantime, you have to also integrate the U.S. born folks the lives into the lives of immigrant and refugee community. So the way we see it is it's two way street. So you bring community together. We are an organization who literally believes that uh, as a country, we need to work together. Uh, every person in this country has a story to tell about immigration. And we want to connect to that. So if you are uh, someone who is sitting now uh, southeast Portland or Washington County and thinking about, you know, go back to your generation, uh, you know, three, two, maybe four, maybe five, and think about how your grandma and grandpa came to this country. And for us, that's no different than what's happening today, but maybe who's coming is different. What's happening today is that triple-digit growth in foreign-born residents over the past 10 years, you now have an outlet for them to organize and get together and make the transition a lot more smooth than yours was. And thanks for joining us. Congratulations on your 10th year anniversary, and we'll put your website right here on the screen. Thank you very much for joining us on Comcast Newsmakers. Make it a great day.